Okay, this uh, video lesson is going to be another example of uh, using if statements to select what code to run. We're going to do a little Minecraft fishing simulator. The main idea here is whenever I click the image of my Minecraft dude fishing, um, what I want to have happen is I want to keep track of whether I catch a fish, whether I catch junk, or whether I catch treasure. Um, we've got some probabilities here, 85% chance of catching fish, 10% chance of catching junk, and a 5% chance of catching treasure. Hopefully that adds up to 100. Okay, um, so I'm gonna keep track of the totals, but I'd also like to add um, an image of the fish down below. So whenever I catch a fish or junk or treasure, I'll show a picture down below. Um, so let's see how we can make that happen. I'm just gonna quickly open up my console here as well, so it's ready in case I have error messages because there might be some. All right. Uh, let's go to the code. Again, I've shared some starting code with you. should be in the description of this video. Um, basic HTML page, linking to my style sheet. Minecraft fishing, there's the paragraph. Um, the, the tallies or the totals here is a, a list. And I floated the list items left so they go side by side. And this is important right here. This is where it shows uh, I display my totals. Fish, junk, and treasure are the IDs. And they start off at zero. Okay, I've got my main image, and whenever I click that image, so I'll have to add an event listener to the image, and I've got an empty paragraph below the image, which is where I'm going to put my results. Okay, or, or the I'm going to put images. I want to put images in here to show I caught something. Okay, and then I link to my main.js, which is right there in my style sheet, and away we go. All right, in main.js, I don't know if I've talked about this yet. I probably should have. But I'm going to put as my first line of code here after my title is use strict. It just tells um, the web browser to use a strict mode of JavaScript, which is generally better. It does better error messages, and it's a good habit to get into. Okay, give this a title, Minecraft Fishing Simulator. All right, first thing I want to do is let's add an event listener to the main image. All right, so document dot get element by ID main IMG I think it was called dot add event listener. Whenever I click it, I'm gonna call a function function called catch fish. All right, event function function catch fish like so, and let's just do a little alert catch fish just to make sure this is working. Okay, save that. I'm live, um, so it should have refreshed. If I click this, it says catch fish. Awesome. Click anywhere else, doesn't do anything. Click the image, catch fish. Okay, good. All right, now what do I want to do? Well, because this is a simulator, um, I need to have some sort of randomness here. How do I determine whether I catch a fish or I catch junk or I catch treasure? Um, so JavaScript has this math object. We've used it before for like um, square roots and whatever. There's also math.random. And what math.random does is it returns a random decimal between 0 and 1. Okay, between, yeah, between 0 and 1. So I'm going to go let rand num be assigned math.random. So I'm going to store that inside this variable randnum. Let's do a quick little console.log randnum just to confirm this is working. And we should see now whenever I click it, it's printing out to the console a random number between 0 and 1. Okay, random decimal. Awesome. So if I'm doing these probabilities, 85% chance of catching a fish, 10% junk, 5% treasure, what I'm going to suggest is, why don't I just say from 0 to 0 0.85 is my probability of catching a fish, right? If the number is between 0 and 0 0.85. If the number is between 0 0.85 and 0 0.95, I catch junk. And if it's in that top 5%, 0 0.95 to 1, I catch treasure. Okay, so I'm going to do an if statement here. So let's add some comments here. So get... A uh, random number to determine what I catch. 
and now we're going to uh, test rand num and I guess display the results. Cool. So to test rand num, I need to do an if statement. And I'm going to suggest I'm going to do if rand num is less than 0 0.85. I'll add a comment. This is my 85% um, chance of catching a fish. And then let's just console.log for now um, fish. Else if rand num is less than 0 0.95. So basically, I'm only going to get to this if statement if this one's false. So it wasn't between 0 and 0 0.85. So it must be 0 0.85 or higher. So if it's between 0 0.85 and 0 0.95, then I'm going to console.log, um, I think it was junk. That was my 10% chance of junk. Else, I'm going to console.log treasure. And that was my 5% chance of getting treasure. Okay, so three possibilities, right? Fish, junk, or treasure. So I do a chained selection statement. And then this random number, I'm just checking what range this random is in. I know it could be between 0 and 1. If it's between 0 and 0 0.85, do this. Between 0 0.85 and 0 0.95, do this. Else it must be in that top 5%, do that. Cool. So now when I click it, fish, 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 fish. Well, oh, some treasure. And then some junk, and then some more fish, and oh yeah, this looks like it's working, right? Fish should definitely be the most often, and every once in a while, maybe some junk. Less frequently, some treasure. There's some more treasure, and away we go. Okay, so this is actually kind of, we've got the main structure of our program working, right? The uh, event listener, the random number, the output. Well, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, instead of just printing to the console, um, I think I've got, I've got a bunch of images here. Um, a bow is uh, going to be my treasure. I've got leather boots, that's my junk. Although, a nice pair of leather boots might be considered treasure. But when you're fishing, generally, boots would be considered junk, I think. Um, I've got a, a bunch of different fish here, and we'll use those later. But for now, let's just do the basic raw fish.png for catching a fish. So instead of doing a console.log, I would like to select this um, paragraph with the ID results. And I want to add to the HTML. I want to add stuff inside of here. I don't want to set the HTML. I want to add to it. So to do that, well, let's maybe start with um, adding to it. I'm going to go, sorry, document dot get element by ID um, results. I think it was called. Dot inner HTML is assigned, and I'm going to make a string. Ooh, I think this works, where I'm going to actually make my inner HTML be a HTML tag. So image source equals, <clears throat> um, I have to do single quotations here because I have a double quotation already for the, for the inner HTML. So if I have stuff inside, I have to do a single quote. Um, I'm going to look up images slash raw fish.png. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to worry about the alt and the width and the height. I actually have in my styles um, images that are inside of the results ID will have a width and height of 40 pixels. That might be a little big, but we'll see. Okay, and then semicolon. All right, so get that element, set its inner HTML to be fish. Awesome. Let's copy and paste that. Um, hold on, I want to make this comment up here and I should take this comment and put it up here copy and paste that and this was junk so that's going to be the leather boots.png and then this one is doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, this is a treasure so bow.png Okay, save that, and now whenever I click it, an image shows up here. Okay, so I'm doing, it's a sign, oh, there's my leather boots, fish again, oh, there's a bow in there. Okay, 
So it's not accumulating because I'm assigning, right? I'm doing, whenever I click something, it assigns it to be that image. A really simple change, if I go plus equals, remember how we learned that we can do this as a shorthand notation to update my variable? This basically means take the current inner HTML and add this to it. We should now be able to see that we have this history of things that I'm catching. And we can just spam this and click away. And I'm getting lots of fish and leather boots. And come on, give me a bow. There I go, two bows. That's what are the chances? OK, so this is kind of cool. We've got a, a randomness, right? Math.random. We've got this if statement that's checking that random value using a chain selection statement. And then I'm using that to um, display my results here. Now, I think I'm going to stop there. Um, I'm getting to 11 minutes here. In the next video, we'll look at making sure we can keep a tally, right? That we keep track of how many things we've caught. So we will do that in the next video. Hope this one made sense, and we'll see you later. Take care.